this is Teclom again. Yeah, just like I'm always your presenter, Kodichuku Okonko. Okay, today we're going to talk about something related to cars, and that is the master brake. Okay, this is actually what is called the master brake in a car. Now this is the braking system. This is a part that actually does the communication between the human being and the rest of the components of the braking system of the entire car. Hence, this is called the master brake. Now, usually when you step on your brake pedal, you push this thing in. Now, why do you push this thing? This like this works like a piston, and when it goes in, it usually pumps or forces the fluid to pass through these openings. Now these openings are connected to the pipes that lead to the ABS system of the car. So this signal from your foot that presses towards this thing when you pedal the brake pushes the fluid through this and sends to the ABS which, who sends straight down to the wheels to the calipers where the actual braking takes place where the caliper clips with its own um, piston it clips through the brake discs and halts or attempts to stop the car so what i'm trying to what i want to talk about today is this brake master brake now if you look at this one you see that the reservoir the brake fluid reservoir is actually on top of it there's a reason why i want this brake fluid reservoir to be here just to make some little points and show some little mistakes you have now this component is a very important part of the car it's one of the two components that you check every morning or every time or occasionally to know the state of your braking system in the car usually you check this so that the brake will not take you by surprise okay now the very important thing or something that can give you an indication of it of problem coming around is this uh, brake fluid reservoir now you can see usually when the brake fluid reservoir starts to show emptiness like when the fluid is going down remarkably it shows because usually they look transparent now it's not like they're very transparent but let's say translucent and that helps you to be able to see where the level of your brake fluid is now there's something i want us to actually know now when you're using your car and the brake uh, brake pads are going down because usually when you step on your brakes there's a tear and wear going on on the brake pads so when your brake pads are going down going thin and thin and thin the fluid here starts to go down it can go as low as to the mean or the minimum level on this uh, uh, brake fluid reservoir when that happens usually the brake works fine but something that people used to do is that they go and top it up they go and buy brake fluid to put it and bring it back to maximum there's a po point here where it is written max point of the brake fluid now this act is wrong because by the time you change your brake uh, pads and the pistons are sent back, you find out that this thing will start overflowing and the, all the brake fluid that you've added will spill. So it is not advisable for you to just add brake fluid to this reservoir. Because after that steep spill, it might look like something is leaking somewhere or something is wrong or something no so that's actually what i want to point out on this so this master brake 
is very important. And let me give you an example of when this thing fails, when this master break fails. Usually, the failure is due to the robbers in, inside. There, there, if you open this up, there's a way some technicians open it up. You see some rubber seals that actually act as a, 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 a tool to push the fluid through these holes. Okay? So, some of them become so bad that they don't have enough uh, they, they don't have the rigidity to be able to push the fluid anymore. So when you step on your brakes, you notice that they go flat so fast, which means the fluid is rushing back. Instead of being pushed through into this, it's no longer effectively pushed through. So it goes back, it, it kind of passes through. Instead of being pushed, it's passing backwards, it's flowing backwards. So it makes the brake to be so flat that you notice that your car is no longer stopping. You know, the braking system is no longer effective. So that is one of the failure of this master brake. Usually, sometimes you can fix it by going to a technician, they remove it and change all the rubbers that might be problematic. And you can decide to buy a brand new master brake just like this that comes with this uh, brake fluid reservoir and so on. This one comes from a Honda Accord 2003, uh, 2004. That's where I got this from. Actually, I changed this before. Now, if you look at this point, you see something that looks this. This is um, a, 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 a socket where the, there's a sensor inside that actually shows when the level of the brake fluid is below normal. That's usually what this tells you. It tells you that your uh, brake fluid has gone below normal and you have to do something about it. So that when it, sh it shows on your, uh, on your dashboard that your brake, brake fluid, you just have to come and check because the brake of the car is almost everything. If you can't stop your car, then there's no need moving the car. So you, you, when this connector is the connector to the, to the ECU, the electronic uh, component that tells when the brake fluid has gone down below the level it should be. So that is the, I've mentioned so many things with this uh, brake, um, master break uh, the, the most important thing is that you should know when to check on how to check this master break so that you'll be safe and you know your journeys will be smooth so that you don't run into trouble and uh, maybe have a bad car crash okay so uh, that's about this uh, master breaks so i don't know if you have any questions for me I could answer them on the comment section okay because actually the only one i mentioned is the one that when you step on the pedal brake pedal and the pedal goes flat there are other cases where the pedal becomes too strong you know in that case we're talking about the savo there's this there's a component that looks like a cylindrical component that stays on you know that this thing plugs into and that's in the car but that's not our topic for today so that in case you you ask about that in the comment section it has to do with the servo part of the braking system it's just a vacuum uh, component that helps to apply more force and reduce the human effort on trying to apply, apply brakes so i think that's just what the uh, Savo does uh, as a braking uh, component mm. of the car. So, thank you. We still have more things to talk about, you know, on the car components and uh, different cars and stuff like that. So, but today I decided to work on this brake, master brake. Okay? So, keep a date with us and subscribe 
please don't go away always come back because there are so many things we have for you on tech loom so please subscribe and stay tuned i will see you next time cheers peace